Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be creating Baby Tasmania Hershey Bar Boxes. Let's go ahead and start. In Design Space, we're going to go ahead to your left hand side, click on Images, and we're going to type in what we're looking for. I have several images. All of these images, I found them on Google and I uploaded them to Design Space. The actual chocolate bar wrapper, it's in Design Space. We click on the images we'll be using, and you'll see them right here in the bottom of the screen. This one right here, it says purchase, that one. And we are missing the Baby Tasmania. And the Starburst. And here it is. You have all your images, insert images. Oh, this one is coming big. Let's go ahead and size it just to take it off the canvas. It's right behind here. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and start sizing the box. Click on your image, unlock, and this will be 6.2 by 8.7. And we lock it. Okay, let's go ahead and bring in, let's go ahead and resize this one. We're gonna use that one. Okay. Now, this is the front part of the box, but I'm making this the front part of the box because I'm going to go ahead and add another layer with the wording on it. Let's go ahead. First, let's change the colors. Go to your layers panel. We're going to invert the colors. This yellow one, we're going to change it to orange. Okay, let's go back. Get the orange, click on the image on your layers panel, go in between line type and fill. That orange box identifies the image you just clicked on. The color identifies the image you just clicked on. Just click on it. And let's change it to yellow. This is just, this is a cut image, meaning you will stick your colored cardstock onto your mat and your machine will cut it. I'm changing the colors now because that way I'll remember what cardstock to load. Go back to your layers panel, click on the beige, and same technique and change the colors. After you change the colors, let's go ahead and start designing the front part of the box. Bring in your starburst and let's. Place it up. If that happens, click on the image, arrange, send it to the front. And let's go ahead and do this. Lock it. See, I still want that little curve there. I would just place it there and attach it. But then I want that little curve. So I'm going to do the slicing technique. Okay, let's duplicate this image. Let's go ahead. Since we don't need this one, let's go ahead and ungroup. And we're going to delete. Don't worry about that one going to the back. We'll fix it in a minute. We're going to delete these little parts right here. And then get that one and send to the back. Okay. Now, we have it positioned here without... Uh, where is it? Okay. Now that we have it positioned, let's go ahead and detach and let's delete those four lines. And again, click, arrange, move up. Oh, sorry, guys. Oh my goodness. Send to the back. Okay. Now, now we can go ahead and highlight the entire image and slice. 
okay this is the part that i need and we can go ahead and delete all this okay let's bring this one here okay this is the one that i need okay now we're going to go ahead and grab the tnt the tnt goes on this side click on the image arrange send it to the front and just go ahead as big as you want like that and save it lock it i'm sorry and let's go ahead and get the where is it it's right somewhere behind here get your dynamite and let's duplicate it Okay, now we're going to size them and place them, all three of them, right here in the bottom. And let's put it in here. Lock it. Let's get one of these images. Unlock. With the image clicked on arrange send it to the front and we are going to size it and we oh, wait. and we lock it next we go to text on your left hand side and type in your wording Click on the wording, go to alignment center. Next, with the wording clicked on, go in between line type and fill, that black box, and we're gonna change the color. I want a blue. We're gonna go ahead and, I'm using the same font. What you can do if you want a different font with the text clicked on, you go right here where it says font, you click on it and then you can Go ahead and grab another font. Let's say you want something cursive or something like that. Go again and let's change the color. We go ahead and place it right here in the middle and size it. Okay, and then we lock it. Now, I'm going to remove this from here. I'm going to highlight this entire image. I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to put this one back where it was. You can just go ahead and set it aside. We already have this. This is sized. Highlight this image right here. We click on flatten that you can leave it aside and this one you can leave it aside next i just want you guys to see how it would look let's grab all of it because we don't need this one. I just wanted you guys to see how it would look. If that happens, click on the image, arrange, send it to the front. Let's grab these little dynamites right here, put them right here. And let's grab this one, unlock, size it, same technique. And highlight and flatten okay so this is up oh, and I took this one from here let's put this back and let's put this one back okay there you go guys so basically we don't need this one okay we can go ahead and delete it and we don't need this one we can delete it we just need these pieces right here 
let's go to your layers panel. You notice that this is a print and cut, which is this one. And then this one is a print and cut as well. Your TNT is a print and cut. And then your actual candy bar wrapper is a cut. Click on this drop down arrow so you can choose your cutting machine. Let's go ahead, once you do that, we're gonna go ahead and click on make it. You're gonna go ahead and choose your copies or leave it as is and then you print as many as you need. Now for this one, we can always fit two and we can change the cardstock and you do that with each one of these. For the print and cut, I'll be using 65 pound white cardstock. For the colored cardstock, it will also be 65 pound cardstock. Let's go ahead and click on continue. Once you click on send to printer, we're gonna go ahead and choose the printed that you'll be using and we're gonna go ahead and click on print. This black box are your registration marks. That's your registration mark. You need the registration mark in order for your machine to recognize what they're cutting. If you get to this part and you don't have this registration mark, something's wrong with your system because automatically on Cricut, on Design Space, it will, it needs to come up. Okay, once you print, you come back here and since it's the maker, it doesn't have a dial, so you're gonna have to choose from here. You can browse all materials, depend on the material that you'll be using, you go ahead and select. Once you select, I leave this on default, we go ahead and stick that print onto your mat, load it to your machine, and then you press the go button. Once you finish that, you continue. With the colored cardstock, you load your cardstock, you stick your cardstock onto your mat, you load it to your machine, and you press the flash go button. Once you cut all of this, I'll see you guys back at the table so we can start assembling. Okay, now that we're back at the table, we have the cutouts. This is the base. I already did that one. Right. This is the print and cut. We have the dynamite part. The cutout for the TNT. And this is the other part. And the star. Well, the fire. Okay. First, what you do is go ahead and fold your base, the red part. You fold that. Then you go ahead and glue on your fire, the orange flame, onto the yellow. You have that. And that's about it. Let's go ahead and take this one, grab this one, and we're going to go ahead and place it just like this. So I think I have it backwards. Uh... Yes, I think I have it because this way. Just crease it, fold it. And we're going to go ahead and apply the glue on the back of this piece and glue it on here. I use the reptile glue. I love this glue. I haven't bought, I still have a, a, a bottle of the art glitter glue. I haven't bought another one because I started with this reptile glue and I absolutely love it. That's it. <laughs> 
it is really, really good. It's really good. Okay, now let's go ahead with this part and let's grab this one. And you go ahead and apply the glue and glue it onto this side. Okay, that is done. Let's go ahead and grab the flame. And we are going to try, right? It's on this side. That's why I couldn't get it right. Add the glue and we glue it on to the black shadow. That is done. Next, flip it around, and the TNT will go right here in the middle. After you place the TNT, you take these little strips and they go one right here at the top and then the other one goes right on the bottom. I'm just eyeballing the distance from the top and bottom. Just to give it a nice design right on the back. Uh -oh. Okay, and then you go ahead, add some glue to this red tab, and then we're gonna glue on this lid. Okay, make sure to align it. You can always fold it just like this. Make sure again to align it. Press down. And you have your box. Let me fix this light, guys. This is too bright here. I think that's fine. Okay, that's the box. Let's go ahead and grab the Hershey bar, which is the 1.55 ounce. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab our foil. And we are going to use the red foil. Whenever you buy the foil, try to leave it sealed completely, no air going in, because I took all of them out and they were rolled up. Okay, let's 
grab one of these. Then grab our double sided tape and we're going to add tape just right here, top and bottom. This foil, it was a suggestion in a group that I'm in, and the first time I bought them online from the foilman.com but then I went on Amazon and the same seller is on Amazon so on the website if you order from the website you'll receive it seven to ten days at least for me it comes seven to ten days and then if you go on Amazon it's like twelve dollars and ninety nine cents for a hundred of them they just add the shipping onto the price and then it's free if you have prime you'll receive it in two days so when I saw them on Amazon what I did was I ordered all the colors I think it's fine with what I already I ordered all the colors from Amazon well not all the colors like maybe four or five colors Okay, let's go ahead and remove the backing from this double-sided tape. Grab a Hershey bar, align it, fold in the sides, crease, fold, crease and fold. Then with your Hershey bar, then you go ahead and place it right inside your box, and it stays right there. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. And I will finish five more, and I will post a picture right at the end of the video. And happy crafting!